It's time to do another episode of Grandpa Frank's Tall Tales because he put some crazy, crazy bullshit up. Let's read it. Uh, be advised, half the words are spelled wrong, there's random commas all over the place, and most of it just makes no sense, so I'm probably going to stumble over trying to read what the hell he's trying to say, and I have to go back and correct it. <sighs> Let's begin. Uh, he posted... Uh, picture of a kid and his dad, I guess, says, um, kids like, uh, I want to go into organized crime, and the dad says, government or private sector, and, uh, everyone's supposed to laugh at that. Frank says, ain't that the truth? I apologize in advance, comma, I'm sorry to be long-winded, but I recall how Bob Wall, Jean LaBelle, and students and associates of theirs, like, Roger Lacombe, being business competitors of mine, seemingly had a partner slash student who was in the FBI, whom I experienced used their color of authority to get third parties to give false testimony against me, attempt to entrap me, scared away my clients and vendors, defamed me through innuendo of wrongdoing in print when not making a false allegation, all seemingly in order to eliminate me as their business competition. Lots of misspellings and random crap there. Uh, Frank saying that Jean LaBelle and Bob Wall had one of their students who was uh, an FBI uh, special agent somehow set up this huge conspiracy against him. Notably, students of theirs were coincidentally convicted of breaking into my school, destroying my property, trophies, certificates, pictures, all of which is followed up by them cowardly and connivingly demanding I be able to produce these items that they destroyed to disprove their allegations of fraud, and all while I'm being told by them that they are forcing event promoters to not allow my students or myself to participate, i.e. my not being allowed to attend Martial Arts Hall of Fame, tournaments, be in magazines, advertise, etc., arbitrarily ganging up in driving the political narrative of fraud while in their hypocrisy espousing the, the they are examples, should, he says the, they are examples for children to follow, committed to teaching good sportsmanship, <laughs> respect, and honesty while hiding their criminal convictions and time served, in one case, the murder of my friend's uncle. Of course, these people don't have names. But, if you re remember the original story, it wasn't students of Jean LaBelle, it wasn't students of Bob Wall. This was Bujinkan guys, hired by Steve Hayes and the Emperor of Japan, that were sent in because they were working with Black Belt Magazine so that Steve Hayes could control ninjutsu in America. And Bujinkan guys broke into Frank's um, house... It was Bujinkan guys from California in 1984. This was the last story. It's still probably posted on his thing. And they uh, stole all sorts of stuff from him, and they were convicted, and they went to jail, and they didn't have names either. Um, so now it's uh, different guys who were working for Bob Wall and Gene LaBelle instead of the Bujinkan, and now they actually murdered someone. Frank's friend's uncle, they murdered him because they're judo guys, and that's what judo guys do. Okay. Their friends in government law enforcement making it possible to, for these acts to become an acceptable pattern of behavior in the martial art world, a place where unfair trade practices like trade libel is observably a crime not enforced, specifically if you are not part of the Rainbow, Soldier of Fortune, or Unique Publications clique, seemingly your civil rights don't exist. Yes. Uh, Frank is a ninja, and the Bujinkan is fake. But the Bujinkan controls the entire world, secretly in the shadows. A group that's a bunch of fake ninja do the most ninja thing in the world, and the guy who's the real deal gets just gets the crap destroyed all the time. Just get stuff stolen from him, even though you know he has special ninja techniques for people not breaking into your house. Uh, randomly attacked. Even though he could sense people's attacks, just like the Bujikan people can. He can sense attacks coming. That's one of his ninja skills. He was a CIA operative. He has a lot of training, but still gets randomly punched in the face and goes blind. Um, because of Brass Knuckles guys. So Frank has all the ninja skills, and constantly loses everything. The fake school owns the world. There you go. That's simple. I, along with others, not part of this clique, spelled wrong, 
were left vulnerable to racketeering practices that produced a global, worldwide, billion-dollar consumer fraud and more. Yes, once again, the entire world is owned by the Bujin Khan. Frank is uh, the real deal, and he just gets taken. But this one, he's talking about Jean LaBelle, so I guess Judo owns the world and is all the secret stuff. Like, I don't What? All of which is documented in my upcoming book, Ninjas Are Bullshit. So Jean LaBelle and Bob Wall are now ninjas. Okay. So, uh, I don't know what happened there. Somehow. Let's go down. Let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. An expose... That an expose that has corrupted or fooled law enforcement types and racketeering buffoons. What? Seriously? I don't know what the fuck he's saying here. Made apparent by how now more than ever they are driving people to defamatory sources shown not to be credible. Like the LA Times articles that in proceedings of libel and slander was exposed to use fabricated evidence that on its face was fraudulent to defamation and dis the defamation disseminated through information gateways they still control, sometimes only through obfuscation. <laughs> ah, like Wikipedia. Yes, Frank will tell you this many times. Jimmy Wales, the founder of Wikipedia, is a Bujinkan guy. So the Bujinkan controls Wikipedia. Anything that you see written on Wikipedia has to go through the Bujinkan to be approved. Because... The Bujinkan just completely controls Wikipedia and basically the whole internet. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. So worried I, that I am now getting reports of how these perpetrators are actually offering people $10,000 a year to defame me online, as can be seen all over the net where they obfuscate my voice and now hope to do likewise, apparently, with my book, that if it got legs, stands to hold them accountable put an end to their criminal behavior, and who knows, maybe some of us will see some real justice in this world done. Yes. We are all paid bullshit martial arts. We have, um, 2,600-something members. We all got checks. It was awesome. They came in, like, the other day. Um, I'll post a picture of mine. 10,000 bucks each. It was so fucking awesome. They were like, here you go, guys. Just have a cool party. Thanks for, you know, making fun of Frank. Um, just keep it secret that he's the real deal and Bloodsport 100% happened and, um, you know, he did defuse that bomb in the Ukraine, the nuclear bomb, he did do that. He did invent that super secret water purification system that's purifying water all over the world. Um, what else did he do? He's, uh, saved politicians' lives from assassins. He... He's basically um, James Bond. Uh, James Bond was actually based on him. He traveled back in time and met... Um, who the hell was it? Uh, Ian Fleming. He met Ian Fleming because, you know, you only live twice and that whole thing in Japan. He met Roald Dahl. He met all those guys. And basically, um, Sean Connery said, Frank Dukes is uh, the real deal. I, I heard him say it one time. So that's what happened. And uh, this book is going to prove all that when it comes out. This Ninjas Are Bullshit book that he said has been coming out for like 10 years now. It, it has all that stuff. So it just I can't wait for it. But, you know, still getting my $10,000 checks from the anti-Frank Ducks government agency, which is awesome. But I hope they don't stop paying me when the, that book comes out. Okay. This effort to illuminate isn't just my struggle, it belongs to anyone who really loves and values what martial arts is supposed to be. It's about cleaning up the corruption in the arts. Join me in getting the word out. Tables are turning. Like and share this post. Don't worry, Frank. We shared that post all over the fucking place. It was in Bullshit Martial Arts. It was in Martial Arts Hall of, F Hall of Shame. It was in um, Kogaru Vetting the Frauds, whatever. Uh, I forget exactly how that one's worded. Um, it's all over the place, Frank, you know. Everyone's loving it. That $10,000 part, everyone's getting in on that. You know. Frank is a fucking retard. He recycles the same story, and I don't know who the hell he thinks is going to believe it. It's like, if people are getting paid $10,000 to make fun of people on the internet, then every fucking person in the world would be a millionaire because that's what the internet is for, it's for making fun of people. 
It's ridiculous. He... How can anyone even follow this guy anymore? He's just that fucking insane. He has serious mental problems. Like... It's just... I don't even know. You can't make shit like that up. You have to actually believe it. You can't just lie about that. I think he's seriously in a world where he thinks all of this shit is true, and he can't keep track of any lies, you know? Uh, someone who actually trained in ninjutsu would be able to keep track of their lies, but he just constantly throwing shit all over the place. Oh, Steve Hayes did this, then he's in a picture with Steve Hayes uh, from Alan Goldturd's uh, Circle Jerk. Uh, you know, Steve is obviously making a face like, oh, fuck, they're taking a picture of me with Frank Dukes. Ugh. He, you could tell he didn't want to be there. Seriously. Ugh. This guy is just such a fucking mess. I can't believe it. Well, there's not really even that much else to say. It's like, you read his shit here. It's just fucking insane. Like, I said I should just write a book called Ninjas Are Bullshit and just have it be about Frank, have it be about Chris Jacobson, have it be about Ron Duncan, have it be about Bryce Dallas, have it be about uh, Greg Park. I could probably get like 20 chapters of people. Mark Grove, uh, Sh Shannon Kavika Phelps, um... That fucking Canadian guy with the afro. The other Canadian guy who thinks he's a cat. <laughs> the fat guy who thought Musashi uh, was a last name. So many people. Frank's fucking retarded. The end. That's about all I can even say. I'm sure I had more to discuss, but it just gets too stupid.